So Sam Solik, I think that everyone knows about Sam Solik. If you haven't, then I don't understand how you must be living underneath a rock or something because this man has literally been everywhere. More on the side if you work out, but he has been everywhere on social media, at least for the last year or two. Definitely a year. There's no way it's been 10 years. If it has, it's actually insane. So I have been lifting for uh, a little while now, a couple, I think, I think with actual weights, weights, I think it's been a couple, couple months. So uh, I'm kind of new to it a little bit, like with the bench and stuff like that. But uh, I've been watching Sam Solik. I've been watching his edits. I've watched occasional of his videos and stuff, mainly the intros because they're kind of cool. He just sits there in his car and talks. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, I take a lot of inspiration from Sam Solik. Now I'm not trying to get huge. I'm not trying to get buff and big. I'm trying to get more lean and stuff like that like that more aesthetic wise instead of just big but you know Sam Solk is a good um, person to watch over so basically in this video I'm just gonna be talking about uh, how I understand him now how I fully grasp the words that he has said and uh, I'm just gonna go through a list of things that he said and just start yapping about them so the first one is to uh, grind alone. Like if you if you need a group of friends or something to actually work out, the, the question is how bad do you really want it? That was a quote from Sam Solik. But how bad do you actually want to be, I guess, either big or aesthetic? How bad do you actually want to lift weights if you need friends with you? You have to understand that you have to do it alone sometimes. You're not gonna always have your friends, the people around you. So why, like how, it's just how bad do you want it, babe? Basically. I personally work out alone every single day and stuff like that and run alone every single day, but I honestly like it. I prefer being alone, working out and running because I can be like either really fast or really slow. I can do my own thing and I don't have to worry about someone else like doing something. Like I don't have to worry about being above or below someone. I, I, the only person I'm trying to beat is me, so I won't have that other person there, you know? Second thing is cardio. Like he's mentioned cardio a little bit, not too much. I've also been watching David Goggins, so I've been trying to do more cardio. I'm just trying to increase my running so I can lose like I can lose the actual fat that I have, and I'm just trying to get aesthetic, like I said. And the best way to do that is to just run. Because running is one of like cardio is one of the best ways to lose weight. It just is. And if you do that while lifting and eating and stuff, You'll just get bigger. When you flex and stuff, you know how bigger people, like it's just a big circle. If you start running and stuff like that, start working out and just lose that weight, it'll actually look like you have muscle and not just bigness, you know? The next one is going to failure. Now, I don't necessarily always do this, but I really, really, really try to. There's very rare like circumstances that I don't go to failure, and the only time I really don't is when I'm warming up. But on a normal day, I usually do just go to failure, or at least as close as I physically can go to failure on every single workout, because why wouldn't you go to failure? Like, what's the downside of that? Now, in the gym, you have to realize that you don't have to be in there for two to three hours. You don't have to do 50 million different workouts. You can do a certain workout to hit a certain body part or just to work out a certain muscle. Some people think, oh, yes, I'm going to go in there for two hours, and I'm going to gonna be chilling. And I'm going to be the biggest person in the world. But if you're working out for two hours and you're like 50% of it, you're just listening to music and resting, what's the point? Like for me, I go, I work out for 40 minutes to an hour, sometimes an hour, 10, 20, but not for too long. It's really not. And the only reason why it lasts that long is because I run too. If I didn't have to run, the workouts would probably be 20 to 30 minutes because all I'm doing is lifting the entire time. I like the only time I don't lift while I'm doing that is when I'm pressing the button because, or just like resting for like 10 seconds. It's not for 30, 40, 50. It's not for a minute because I'm not power lifting. If you're power lifting, I understand, but if you're just weight lifting, why do you need a rest for so long when you're just gonna go to failure again? It, it makes no sense. And it has to go along with pushing yourself to, through the uncomfortableness. Like if it's one of your, like, uh, if one of your, um, like let's just say I don't know how to do it without an example but let's just say your forearm hurts while you're benching if it hurts like you like you seem like you got injured I understand but if it just burns why don't you just go through it like you have like this has to go with failure that you have to push through all that stuff to get muscle to do this to do that and it's, it's, I'm not a professional at any of this I'm not a professional at all don't even like take this whole video with the grain of salt I'm going through the eyes of Sam Solik here like you just have to push through it another thing that Sam Solik mentioned is this stuff takes time it doesn't like 
it really does. Like you're not going to get it instantly. And the very beginning is the hardest part. Like he, like Sam Solik said, the, the very beginning is the hardest part because you are not making progress. It doesn't seem like you're making progress. Like on the physical side of things, you're not making progress. Like it's just a slow, slow, slow. But after like a couple months, you're going to see some progress. You're going to actually see the results from all the working out. So you're actually going to, you're going to want to do it more because you're seeing the progress. Unless you just don't, then that's on you. Sam Solik recently talked about like working around the schedule, working out around the schedule and stuff like that. Now I do take my routes a little bit different than Sam Solik. I run every single day um, while lifting. So my, my thing's a little bit different. But with Sam Solik is with the football, um, like he talked about football and how should I quit football for weightlifting? You really shouldn't because especially if it's in high school, especially in college, why would you quit football? Anyways, but in high school, you're only going to go to high school once. So if you want to play a sport and you want to do a sport, do it then and then work out on the side. It's really not that difficult to understand. It's not really a hard concept. If you if you play video games and you work out and play football, just quit video games. The working out in football is 10 times better in the long run, trust me. Another huge thing that I didn't really get from Sam, so like I just understand basic science and basic math on how things are working, and that is to not drink. Why would you do that? Especially if you're doing something like me where I'm trying to lose weight and then also gain muscle and then back and forth, back and forth at the, as, as fast as humanly possible without like in, like getting in a bad way, like as fast as humanly possible in the best way possible, if that makes sense. But why would I drink or do anything remotely like substance wise or like anything like that? Why would I do that? That is just going to injure and that's going to fatigue me and that's just going to make it longer and I don't want to go any longer so why would I do that? Okay, me personally, I like Sam Solik as you can tell. I think he's good for this generation. The only thing I don't like about him is that he does take some substances that uh, infect his uh, m m like growth and uh, that cause steroids but he definitely takes something. There's no way he doesn't but that's the only really downside to it but as long as he's open about it and stuff and tells kids not to do it then I guess it's fine. But I want to know what you guys think about Sam Solik. Did you take anything from this video? Probably not, but if you did, then let me know in the comments, you know? Anyways, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe. We're almost to 2K, but not really, but we're trying to get there. But anyways, guys, peace out.